I'm Jean Edwards. I'm from Switched On Seniors in Rockingham. We have groups from Merriwa to Mandurah, and you can find out about them on our webpage at switchedonseniors.net.au. Today I'm going to talk to you about FaceTime. I'm going to show you how to use FaceTime to connect to your family over east. People will say it's free, but you do need to have data in some way to be able to use it. So you'll need to be on the internet at home with NBN, for example, or have mobile data on your phone to be able to use it. You'll find that the FaceTime app is already on the screen of your iPad. Oh, what does that look like? It's, you'll see that it's green and it's got what looks like a movie camera. So if you tap on it, if you haven't used it before, you may not have signed in. So you will actually need to sign in using your Apple ID and your Apple password. That so one. if you've got that stored away somewhere, go and get that ready before you get your FaceTime. Oh, I love on. passwords. I know, I know, everybody loves passwords. Not. <laughs> Once you've done this, it will show, show you a message that says you need to put your contacts in, to find contacts. Now, you, a list of names or something. Yes, so oh. obviously you're going to contact somebody. This right. is, and you need to have their address. Right not their physical address of no, their no, home, no. Yeah. but their address of their device somewhere on your device so that you can connect with them. Now you might already have them in your contact, so if you've got them in your contact list, that will make life easy. If you tap the blue cross that's on the top of the FaceTime, it will give you the opportunity to type in a name, a phone number or an email address or actually take you directly to the contacts that you've already got stored in your device. Right. So once you have your contacts sorted out, so the person that you want to contact to see your mm -hmm. great granddaughter, right. you actually tap on the FaceTime app on your home screen to start the app. Tap on the search bar and the name of the person right. using the keyboard. Yeah. FaceTime will search your contacts list to find the name you've searched. And if that person has FaceTime, a video camera symbol appears next to their name. Oh, right. Tap it to begin the video call. So what are we seeing now in the background? You'll still be on the FaceTime app and it will then, the other person will actually hear it ringing in some way. Not necessarily like your mobile phone, it'll have its own distinctive sound and you'll be able to hear that ringing. When they hear it ring, they will just need to press the green button and you'll be able to see each other. FaceTime will show them in the middle of the picture, but there'll be a very small picture of yourself. Oh, that's right, very small. Just so you know what you look like to them. <laughs> I'd rather so not. That, <laughs> so that you know what you'd look like to very them. Good. But the other person is the the, the person, main, the main person central. you will see. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. So before they have answered, you will see yourself oh. in the screen. And sometimes that frightens us a oh. little bit <laughs> because we think we look like we used to look like. And things yeah, have changed, changed a little bit. Slight. <laughs> but what you can do is you can set your camera up to the right distance beforehand. Might even put your device on a book to lift it higher so it's getting a and work out the right angle before you <laughs> so, start. So I come over like a human. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can set it up before you actually ring the other person. So when you have your conversation you can 
have that conversation for as long as you like. And when either of you are ready to finish the conversation, there's a red button that you need to tap to hang up the conversation. If there is no red button appearing on your screen, because sometimes it, it goes out and has a... Oh yeah, meander. A, a walk while you're yeah. talking. <laughs> And you just need to tap on the screen and the red button will oh, reappear. All oh, right. FaceTime is designed to be easy to use. You can actually make calls just by going to your contacts. And if they actually have FaceTime on, you can call them directly from your contacts. You don't actually have to go to the FaceTime app there'll be something that says fade time in your contacts and you can do it directly from there. So choose the person you want to speak to, tap on their name, on FaceTime yeah. under their name, and you will and go try it through yeah. to them. Oh, it's great. Now, what if it's not working? Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Let's think of some of the possibilities if that doesn't all magically work for you. As we know, the app might have been deleted from your home screen. What's the first step? If, if it's not available to me and it's been taken off, I go back to the app store or somewhere. Absolutely. And look up FaceTime. Yes, that's oh, right. right. I can do that. So that's one way to do it. And that's probably the easiest way to do oh, it good. for you. There are some other ways, like with all of these things, but that's probably the quickest and easiest way for you. Now, the other thing that might have happened is that the other person might not have their FaceTime app on their device. They might have their device and they might have removed it as well, or they may not be signed in. So they need to have done the same steps as Check you. So, so if I'm all connected and I press the button ready to go and they're not connected, it just won't happen. That's right. Right. And so you're probably thinking, sitting there thinking, you're doing something wrong, but, but it may not be. Uh, uh. And so, but the other thing that could be a problem is that either you or the other person might not be connected to the internet. Oh, and right. so, yeah. again, you've got to be connected to yeah. the internet for it to work. Yeah. Just. But there are some of the things that you may need to check on if all of these steps are not working for you.